I tie a plastic ice pack around my face and commence with the morning stretching exercises. Afterwards, I stand in front of a chrome and acrylic washmobile bathroom sink with soap dish, cup holder, and railings that serve as towel bars, which I bought at Hastings Tile to use while the marble sinks I ordered from Finland are being sanded and stare at my reflection with the ice pack still on. I pour some Plax anti-plaque formula into a stainless steel tumbler and swish it around my mouth for 30 seconds. Then I squeeze Rembrandt onto a faux tortoise shell toothbrush and start brushing my teeth. Too hung over to floss properly, but maybe I flossed before bed last night and rinse with Listerine. Then I inspect my hands and use a nail brush. I take the ice pack mask off and use a deep pore cleanser lotion. Then an herb mint facial mask, which I leave on for 10 minutes while I check my toenails. Then I use the ProBright tooth polisher and next the inner plaque tooth polisher, this in addition to the toothbrush, which has a speed of 4,200 revolutions per minute and reverses direction 46 times per second. The larger tufts clean between teeth and massage the gums while the short ones scrub the tooth surfaces. I rinse again with Sepical. I wash the facial massage off with a spearmint face scrub. In the shower, I use first the water-activated gel cleanser, then a honey almond body scrub, and on the face, an exfoliating gel scrub. Vidal Sassoon shampoo is especially good at getting rid of the coating of dried perspiration, salts, oils, airborne pollutants, and dirt that can weigh down hair and flatten it to the scalp, which can make you look older. The conditioner is also good silicone technology, permits conditioning benefits without weighing down the hair, which can also make you look older. On weekends or before a date, I prefer to use the Gruen Natural Revitalizing Shampoo, uh, the conditioner, and the nutrient complex. These are formulas that contain D-panthenol, a vitamin B complex factor, polysorbate 80, a cleansing agent for the scalp, and natural herbs. Over the weekend, I plan to go to Bloomingdale's or Bergdorf's, and on Ithvalin's advice, pick up a Fulton European supplement and shampoo for thinning hair, which contains complex carbohydrates that penetrate the hair shafts for improved strength and shine. Also, the Vivigen Hair Enrichment Treatment, a new Redken product that prevents mineral deposits and prolongs the life cycle of hair. Luis Carruthers recommended the Aramis Nutriplex system, a nutrient complex, that helps increase circulation. Once out of the shower and towel dry, I put the Ralph Lauren boxers back on, and before applying the Musa razor, a shaving cream by Pour Omum, I press a hot towel against my face for two minutes to soften abrasive beard hair. Then I always slather on a moisturizer, to my taste, Clinique, and let it soak in for a minute. You can rinse it off or keep it on and apply a shaving cream over it, preferably with a brush, which softens the beard as it lifts the whiskers, which I've found makes removing the hair easier. Leave the sideburns and chin for last, since these whiskers are tougher and need more time to soften. Rinse the razor and shake off any excess water before starting. Afterwards, splash cool water on the face to remove any trace of lather. You should use an aftershave lotion with little or no alcohol. Never use cologne on your face since the high alcohol content dries your face out and makes you look older. One should use an alcohol-free antibacterial toner with a water-moistened cotton ball to normalize the skin. Applying a moisturizer is the final step. Splash on water before applying an emollient lotion to soften the skin and seal in the moisture. Next, apply gel à paysan, also made by Pour Homme, which is an excellent soothing skin lotion. If the face seems dry and flaky, which makes it look dull and older, use a clarifying lotion that removes flakes and uncovers fine skin. It can also make your tan look darker. Then apply an anti-aging eye balm Baum des Yeux, followed by a final moisturizing protective lotion. A scalp programming lotion is used after I towel my hair dry. I also lightly blow dry the hair to give it body and control, but without stickiness, and then add more of the lotion, shaping it with a Kent natural bristle brush 
and finally slick it back with a wide tooth comb. <laughs>